Very briefly, this is supposed to be given by somebody else. It is not my, it's not my talk, but I will go through quickly uh, for hepatitis B vaccine. So now, uh, is a lifelong uh, dynamic disease, uh, changes over time, risk in the stage liver disease and cancer, that's what the problem with it, uh, with ongoing inflammation and viremia. Uh, fibrosis can be reversible. Drugs can decrease fibrosis progression. The hepatitis B can be controlled, but not cured, uh, which is important to know. Reactivation can occur even in those who have uh, lost the service antigens. Uh, I'm not going to go much with the virus itself. Uh, just I will go through with the vaccine, just for the sake of, the, sake of the time. This is the epidemiology. Uh, one third of the world population has been infected. Almost 350 uh, million with chronic disease. Uh, uh, 15 to 25 of these die due to liver-related disease. And then 1 million deaths annually. So this is really a huge concern in relation to hepatitis B. Who should be tested for the hepatitis B? Is a long list, mainly blood and organ donors, hemodialysis, pregnants, uh, infants with uh, positive mothers, um, uh, behavioral uh, contacts, and then individuals from countries where prevalence is more than the, the 2%. So, and then patient receiving immunosuppressive uh, therapy and abnormal ALT of unknown case. So, there is overlap between HIV and hepatitis B. As you can see, the overlap almost about 3.5 to 4%. Distribution uh, in relation to the genotypes um, is varies from one country to an, one region to another. So that should be known for each region. And then the problem that we start we start see huge antiviral resistant over time. So whatever number of drugs we have to deal with hepatitis B we see actually um, uh, a lot of resistance. So resistant to nucleoside analogs is, is it just a matter of time. So we'll see more resistant coming in the future. So the message now, we really need a vaccine and we need to have a good vaccine for hepatitis B. So the strategy to eliminate hepatitis B to prevent perinatal HPV transmission, routine vaccination, uh, vaccination, children high risk, uh, adolescents, and then adult of high risk groups. It's, it goes without saying at uh, the uh, strategy to eliminate hepatitis B. If we go to the history of the B vaccine, I'm not take much of your time, but this is it started from 65 and uh, successful in 73 of the, uh, uh, and then 81, 86 was a recombinant vaccine. And then in 91, we have a universal infant vaccination. And in 96, we have a, a universal adolescent vaccination. So this is the history of the vaccine. Available since 81, uh, com uh, composed of hepatitis service absorbed to aluminum hydroxide. Uh, it elicited a development of neutralizing antibodies. And then plasma drive and recombinant formulation as a case of hepatitis B. We have a plasma-derived hepatitis B vaccine uh, prepared from service antigen from plasma of persons with chronic HPV infection, purified by several uh, chemical process, and then heat or chemical inactivation step, and then it has a safety profile. We have a recombinant hepatitis B vaccine, again from service uh, hepatitis antigen synthesized uh, through yeast or mammalian cells. Uh, we produce that in large quantities. Does not require any constant supply of human uh, plasma if you have a combinant hepatitis B. But administration given in a three dose, uh, four doses series sometimes used in 80s. Schedule is flexible, zero, one, to two and six months schedule must commonly use. A microgram dose varies by manufacturing and age. Vaccination can be used interchangeably if given a dose recommended by the manufacturer. This is a way of administering. Um, the, 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 it can be administered with other vaccines, so it is okay if you put it in the vaccination program in your childhood. 
we have a combination with the hepatitis B vaccine, DPT-based combination, and this is the type of combination we have. And then we have hepatitis B-based uh, combination, uh, hepatitis B with uh, HPV, uh, HP, homophilus influenza, uh, and hepatitis B, hepatitis A. There are several manufacturing uh, we have, uh, different companies from Korea, Belgium, uh, Belgium, from the United States. So we have different preparation of the vaccine of hepatitis as a singly recombinant, maybe a plasma drive, or maybe DBT with hepatitis, DBT with hepatitis, and with hep uh, vaccine. Why we use combination? It goes without saying, the decreased number of uh, uh, immunizations uh, and immunizations visit, increase the likelihood the child will be fully immunized, need for the cold chain, and simply management and training and, and so much. So however, cost, uh, actually more if you prepare combined vaccine, cannot be given in birth, so you have to give it uh, late. And then uh, pertussis HB cannot be given before six weeks of age due to decreased immunogenicity, uh, because use of DTB manufacturers in some, in some countries. The cost um, is high cost, but now probably getting uh, with, the, with the large quantities produced by companies would be less cheaper in US dollars. Uh, the uh, difference between monovalent uh, versus combination um, that the current API schedule includes four doses of DBT, almost more than 95% born in health facilities, that's given birth dose of vaccine. Is it feasible? Cannot uh, give a combination vaccine at birth, recommended uh, monovalent or, com uh, or combination based on the strategy of the country with you. Number of doses uh, using monovalent combination. So if you have HB dose at birth, if you're using monovalent uh, compared with combination again with a total dose, if monovalent three with a combination, we talk about five, five dose. Now, uh, 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 immunogenicity efficacy for hepatitis B. Uh, uh, similar, there is a uh, zero conversion rates with a plasma drive recombinant vaccine, seroconversion rate almost uh, uh, more than 95% after the three doses of the, of the vaccine itself. Uh, the factor associated with the decreased immunogenicity, uh, major factors older age, immunosuppressive illness like HIV and chronic liver disease and so on, the, ma the minor one related to smoking and uh, obesity as a factor lead to decreased immunogenicity of, of hepatitis B. Um, uh, let me go with the efficacy, pre-exposure prophylaxis, efficacy in preventing HPV infection, about 95% if vaccinated before exposure. Post-exposure prophylaxis, uh, efficacy in preventing perinatal infection, about 95% if vaccinated within 12 to 24 hours of birth. Efficacy for the hepatitis B vaccine, similar when given with or without uh, HBIG. Now, uh, long-term protection with hepatitis. Vaccine provides long-term protection. Uh, immunity persists despite loss of uh, anti-HB service uh, hepatitis B antigen. A documented protection up to 15 years. Lifelong protection is uh, likely and continue follow-up need to determine duration of, of the uh, protection. Posted dose, uh, not currently uh, recommended. That uh, someone may be uh, uh, debate for that, but we do need a booster dose for hepatitis B. Uh, 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 I don't have to go for that. And then the effectiveness of routine infant immunization program. Uh, uh, incidence, uh, I mean, this will decrease the incidence of acute hepatitis. Prevalence will be reduced of the chronic HPV, and the incidence of uh, hepatocellular carcinoma will be much less. Now, management of uh, the one who was uh, no response to hepatitis B, if we complete the second series of the three doses, should be given on the usual schedule, zero, one, and six months, uh, and retest one to two months after completing the second dose. This is for who is not respond, responding to the vaccine itself. Uh, persistent of non-responsible to hepatitis B vaccine, less than 5% do not develop anti 
HPS after the sex valid dose may be non-responder or hypo-responders. We should check for the hepatitis B service antigen status and if exposed, treats as non-responder with both exposure uh, prophylaxis. Prevention of prenatal hepatitis B, begin treatment within 12 hours of birth is important. Uh, the vaccine fills those at different sites. Uh, com you complete the vaccine series at six months of age and test for response at nine to 15 months uh, of age. Now, um, contraindication and some precaution, uh, severe allergy uh, to a vaccine component, moderate to severe acute illness if you see it with hepatitis B vaccine. Thank you very much for your attention.